our mission today is to visit Dollar Tree and see if they have some yarn that I've been looking for. Let's go. All right, guys, I guess we went to the Dollar Tree together. Sounds like somebody's making a mess in the other room. <laughs> My office door is open because there's snacks on my desk, which is why you see a waggy tail back there. Oreo, Bentley's here, Oreo's right there. Scarlett will be in here as soon as she hears the rustling. She'll be running. So we went to the Dollar Tree and did you guys see they have new yarn? Now I've been hearing about this yarn on several Facebook groups is where I saw that they had this yarn from. So okay, I bought I also went to TJ Maxx. I went to I only went to one Dollar Tree as of yet. I went to the Dollar Tree Plus store that I know that exists in my area and it's out in Culpeper. I don't know if my local Dollar Trees have this yarn yet or not. I'm going to do research and let you guys know for sure. Probably in the Facebook group. Um, because this is a really good deal and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. So I showed you the yarns. <laughs> showed you the yarns. I'm going to show you what I purchased. I also bought the cutest milk crate from TJ Maxx and I way overpaid for it. But it's hot pink, sir. I did not move that so you could stand on it. Can you get down? Get down. Get down. You don't belong on my box. Get down. Thank you. All right. So I way overpaid this for this at TJ Maxx, but it's hot pink. It's well made. It's a nice milk crate. I bought it because it's hot pink. Okay. I, it, they suckered me in. <laughs> Has nothing to do with yarn. And I also found this at TJ Maxx. And they have been forever sticking stitch with Bougie Boo or Angel, the pink one. I don't like Angel. I don't like Bougie Boo. I like Lilo with Stitch. Okay. So when I saw this, you best believe I snatched it up. <laughs> All right. So back to the yarn. We also got monster snacks for the dogs from TJ Maxx. These are actually bat shaped. Two bats stuck together. They're bat shaped. The dogs love them. They're made out of sweet potato and lamb. They smell meaty. It's got lamb, pea flour, rye flour, cane molasses, which you can smell, coconut glycerin, sweet potato, gelatin vinegar, natural flavor, salt preserved with tocopherols, rosemary extract. It smells slightly blueberry-ish. Which is crazy to me. So these are Finley's Elevating People and Pets Monster Snacks. TJ Maxx. It says, there's a kid on the back that says Chris Nickick. And it says, I want to change the perceptions and raise expectations for others like me so we can reach our God-given potential, believe and achieve by getting 1% better. At age 21, Chris became the first person with Down syndrome to complete an Ironman, which is a decathlon. His message of perseverance, access, and hope fuels our purpose at Finley's. We make our pet treats with just a few natural ingredients and a whole lot of kindness. In fact, the, bag, the purchase of each bag helps fellow community members with disabilities gain confidence and independence through paid work experiences. In addition, we give a portion of each purchase to the Chris Nickick, I think that's how you pronounce it, 
foundation so Chris can continue spreading his message of getting 1% better every day. Serving pets and supporting others is truly a rewarding treat. See, I didn't know any of that. I just bought it because, like, it was a good price for how much was in here. And it was Halloween themed, so my dogs usually get, like, Halloween treats. Alright, back to the yard. I know, because y'all don't care. I have shown... Actually, this is just one pound. Did they change the name? What did they do? Where's my phone? It says just one pound. Did they change the name? Because this used to be just yarn. But the yarn at Dollar Tree is just yarn. Let me check, let me check Premier's website on my laptop because apparently I don't have my phone. I got a couple other yarns just to play with. Let me see. Let me look. Yarns. Four weight medium. See, on their website it says just yarn, just yarn value. Is this different? It's different. Okay. I don't think I have any more of the Just Yarns. The Just Yarn Value I did a review on. I will post that video. This is even crazier to me, okay? <laughs> so I'm looking at the Just Yarn Worsted Value 400 gram yarns that I have featured on the channel for. I made a whole blanket out of two of them. And I don't remember what blanket I made. But two of these made one a big a pretty good sized blanket. Um, the just yarn value, which is what we sh I thought that's what this was. I'm not even joking. Is less yardage than this for a higher price tag. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm like my mind is blown. I did not read the label. I just saw the just, and I thought it was just yarn. I thought it was just yarn from the Dollar Tree. I wish I had one. Okay, so these are one pound for five dollars at Dollar Tree. The just yarn value, which is what I thought this was, is 400 grams. This is 454 grams. And it retails on Premier's website, the just yarn value, not this one. It's the same yarn base. It, it's the same yarn base. Let me double. Yeah, 100% acrylic. It's the same yarn base, okay? So the Just Yarn value for 400 grams, which is smaller, is $6.99 on Premier's website. Plus, you have to pay shipping. Do they have way more colors? Yes. They have this color. Denim. They have this color. Black. They have this color white. And I also, at the Dollar Tree I went to, had the red, which I know that they have because I made the blanket out of the red. And it's the same, I think it was the garnet colorway, which is what was at the, the Dollar Tree. This is 982 yards. 982 yards. And the ones that are 699 are 875 yards. $5.00. At the Dollar Tree, you better, if you do any kind of um, crocheting for charity, you better run and get as much as you can, okay? They only had four colors at my store. I have not seen a lot of colors at any of the other stores. As a matter of fact, I'm going to check my Facebook group and see what those, because a couple people posted pictures. And I'm going to see what colors... I, I only got three of the four colors because, like I said, they also had the garnet color. But I got the white, the blue, and the black because I just thought those were really pretty colors and they would be pretty together. I'm double checking because I know a couple people posted pictures. The people in the Facebook group are so talented. I'm looking at all the pretty stuff. <laughs> all right, come on, Randy, where's your post? Randy's post got pushed down a little bit. I don't know where it went. There it is. Okay, so Randy, who is in North Carolina, 
had green, like an olive green, white, garnet, denim, and black. So I see trips to the Dollar Tree in my future. And I'm going to go see what other colors we can find. And some people said that it was at their regular Dollar Tree. And I found them at the Dollar Tree Plus store in the Dollar Tree Plus section. So, and some of these pictures, it looks like it's up in the front in a display. So check your Dollar Tree. Um... I'm scrolling down to see if there's any more pictures that I can look at. People are like going, losing their mind, going crazy about this. All right. So Kyle, Kyle posted, they have the olive green too. My store didn't have the olive green. So they had the white, the olive green, the denim, the black, and the red at their store. So there's at least... One, two, three, four, five colors being released right now. And I'm going to tell you right now, when something goes good with the Dollar Tree, they tend to rebuy it. So if you, if that's the reason Premier has a relationship with Dollar Tree is because Dollar Tree and Premier Yarns, kind of like people love going and getting yarn from the Dollar Store. They really do. So super, super stoked that these, because first of all, the fa the $5 price tag is good. I mean, you're getting almost a thousand yards, 982 yards of acrylic. This will make a blanket by itself. One of these will make a blanket, a, a donation size blanket. You can make one just out of one of these. Now, cinema stitches doesn't work with just one color because it bores me to tears, which is why I got three different colors because I'm like, First of all, how beautiful are these together? But also, I always stock up in white and black in these big balls because I always need white and black and I don't have it because I don't buy it. So I will buy it in the really big balls so that I have a white and a black always on hand. Did I need any? No. But for $5 for a thousand, almost a thousand yards, I stocked up. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm so excited. I knew nothing about this. Like, Premier did not give me any information that they were going to be doing this. But you better believe I'm going to be in contact with Premier and be like, whoa, like, this is big. <laughs> I'm super. Actually, they're watching right now. So, hi. I know you're watching. I'm super excited about this. <laughs> and also, while I was there, I saw... I've never seen these. Well, this one I've seen. So, this is just Chenille Medley. Um, Sandy from Crochet A actually just bought a cone of this from Premier Yarns. And the cones are like $20 American. I think she paid $25 because she's in Canada. Let me double check. I'm going to double check. Um, oh, also, I took video, and you probably already saw that clip, and I, I'm probably going to talk over it. I was looking, and I was telling, I was just saying in a video the other day, the small balls of yarn are not that great of a value, okay? $1.25 pretend this is the same yarn as this the just yarn okay the just yarn acrylic yarn i believe in that video that i took it was 109 yards for a dollar 25 109 yards for a dollar 25 of the same yarn i thought i thought i had some i think i moved it because it was right here in my bucket i think i see it I'm gonna drop it. This is not this is not Dollar Tree. <laughs> I mean it's Dollar Tree, but it's not from your Dollar Tree. I don't know what I did with the other ones. I don't know what I did. Anyway, I think it was 109 yards according to that video. For a dollar twenty-five. Or nine hundred and eighty-two yards for five dollars. Okay, let's math that out. Let me get my calculator. Calculator. All right. Nine hundred and eighty two. Ouch. Divided by five. Hundred and ninety six dot hundred and ninety six yards for a dollar. Is that right? Yeah, because if you reverse it. Hundred and ninety six yards for a dollar. 
if my math is correct, or 109 yards for $1.25. What are you going to choose? Right? Could not believe that. Okay, so now, now, all right, back to, back to the medley. 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 This is the Just Chenille Medley. And Premier sells a cone of this for $24.99. And the cone, oh, it's on sale for $19.99 as, as of 8.30, which is the today's date that I'm recording this. What color is this? Yes, sir. You want a snack? Is that what you're whining at me for? He's like, Mom, I just want a snack. <laughs> I want a bat snack. Mom. All right, so... For the medley for $20 or $24. Here's a big chunk. Can you stop biting me? Oreo. We gotta save some for Scarlet Fatty. Alright. Let's see. 35 ounces. 1,312 yards for $20 or... 65 yards for a dollar 25. So this is a way that you can test the yarn out. But I had someone ask me because Sandy was showing this yarn in like of the brown color, and um, she's like, I think this is new yarn. It's it's the chenille yarn. It's the just chenille. It's been around. It's not new. The medley is new, which just means it's an acid wash looking color so it's it's more of a frosted color it's instead of the solid but it's the same yarn that's been around it's just the chenille yarn nothing spectacular but i wanted to answer that question on here in case anyone else had that question is it new no it's a new colorway <laughs> it's a new colorway they've had the just chenille out for a long time and this has been i had a whole bunch of the pastel color i actually don't like this yarn i'm gonna be real honest i bought it just to show you and talk about it in the video I like that it's blue jean colored and it's soft and it, it makes like it makes cute amigurumi and stuff like that but it's not my favorite and I don't make a whole lot of amigurumi. By the way I met the cutest little girl at Michael's today. Okay I gotta tell you a story well before we get on to this. All right she was a cute little girl with just flaming red hair and like her cheeks were kind of flushed and she's looking at the yarn right. And Mr. Cinnamon wanted to buy me some yarn because he had a $5 uh, reward. And he's like, I'm going to go buy you something. And they didn't have anything new at the Michaels that we went to out in Culpeper, right? And <laughs> this little girl has got her fingers in the ball of the chenille yarns. And she wanted the mint colored one, but she also kind of wanted the purple one. And her mom was not having it. Her mom was like, buy one. And so she picked the green one. And I looked over and I was like... What are you going to make with those colors? And she's all, well, I really have only made a blueberry. A blueberries are easy, right? It's just a ball <laughs> with a little crown thing on top. And so she's got mint green. And I'm thinking, what is she going to make with this mint green? But she was like, get at the purple. Well, if you don't know about cinema stitches, I really like the color purple. <laughs> And I felt like if she wanted the purple, she should have the purple too. So we went around the corner and Mr. Cinnamon was like, well, what do you want with my $5 reward? And I was like, I don't really want any of this yarn. Like there, none of the new yarns were at the Culpeper location. And so I was like, I kind of want to buy that little girl the purple one. And also during all of this, Mr. Cinnamon was showing me another velvet yarn. I was like, yeah, I don't really like that crap. It's garbage. And the little girl was looking at, the chenille yarn you know and so her mom was automatically like "Ooh," and i don't know if i like this lady like she's walking away from me while i was talking to her daughter like she was very like put off by me i believe that's the impression i got she may have just been busy like i don't know but she was like kind of like gearing her daughter away from me i wanted to talk to a little girl she was all of maybe yeah. eight ten years old and she was so enamored with the yarn and i so relate to that right and so mr sim was like We'll get the yarn she wanted so we i had him go pay you know and i'm looking at the halloween stuff and the beads with juju and whatever and i walk over to her and she's about this tall to me right <laughs> and i was like excuse me darling she's all hi and she's so stinking cute she had these really big cheeks <laughs> like you just want to squish her <laughs> and she's all hi and i was like i bought this for you and i handed her the purple chenille-ish type loops and threads yarn you know and she goes, oh, thank 
thank you. And she wrapped her little arms around my waist and just put her head right here. And I was like, oh, my baby. <laughs> like, the mom barely looked up at me, like kind of went, I had the receipt tucked in there. So it was proof that we purchased it for her. And I was like, that's from Cinema Stitches on YouTube. Thank you. And I walked away. I told her, I was like, keep crocheting. <laughs> it was like, now I just wanted to tell you that story. Not because I did anything fantastic. I bought one ball of yarn and gave it away. That's <laughs> not a big deal. But like her reaction to yarn, like, first of all, I will adopt you and buy you all the yarn you want. Come play in my yarn room, right? Like, <laughs> I'm just weird like that. <laughs> the fact that she was so excited about the yarn and sticking her, like she was sticking her fingers in it the way that I do. And I was like, she needs the purple too. She needs the purple. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that because it was an adorable story. All right. So anyway, they also have the Just Yarn Teddy, which has purple hair in it. Um, I haven't used this before. I think that I've seen it, but I think I've only seen it in like dark colors and they have these pretty bright colors. And again, it's not a fantastic deal. Like it's 109 yards for $1.25, but there's just enough here to put an accent on something. Like, this would make a really pretty knit hat. <laughs> I don't like knitting with this kind of yarn though because there's no stretch in it, but this would be really pretty as an accent for something, like the cuffs on something, or like the brim on a hat, or like a cute little scarf in the knitting machine. And these colors speak bubblegum to me, and I love fun bubblegum colors. Like, if they had purple, I would have got purple too, because how pretty would this be, right? But they had the pink and the purple, so I bought these. And what's crazy is, like, I the first pink I pulled up felt like it was half used. And so I threw it back on the shelf and grabbed another one, and this feels like there's a knot in it. There's a knot, but it's like it's knotted up. It's not like it's a knot in the yarn. Yeah. That was weird. It got knotted up somewhere in the scanning process. So there's these are at the Dollar Tree too. Um, I did do a little film. They still have the co the Just Cotton. They still have the Just Yarn, like the regular. But I don't really use those little balls a whole lot. And with these fun little, like these... Like, I have yarn on my desk that these will go with. Oh, that's cute, right? <laughs> what else do we have that would go with the blue? Like, the green and the blue. Look at that, right? Tell me you feel it. <laughs> and pink and orange always go good together. Like, hello. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this, right? Cute little accent. And then this one I really just bought because I had had a couple of people ask me about the Just Chanel Medley. But this is the talk of the town today, guys. $5 for a pound. Now, even when they have, like, the, the pound of love, which I know I have a pound of love. They're up there in a bucket. I can't get them down. The pound of love from Lion Brand or the um, the Karen One Pounders, I've never seen them under $6.99 in store. Like, they don't go on sale under $6.99. And if they do, I have not seen them in the time that I've been crocheting. It may have been on sale for like $5 at one time. I've never seen it. And so more yardage than what is for $6.99 on Premier's website and you don't have to pay for shipping? All day long I will pay that. All day long. Now granted, you only got the five colors. You can do a lot with blue, white, red, black, and olive right now if they come out with hot pink or purple or turquoise i'm in trouble <laughs> no i'm not because it's only five dollars right <laughs> i can't tell you how excited i am i get excited first of all when i see premiere in stores because it's always a surprise to me because they're just not in a lot of stores like they're at walmart and sometimes they're at michael's i've never seen premiere yarns at joann's that i know of and like Scarlett's like, Mom, I smell treats. Come here, baby. Sit. No, just sit. Don't bite me. These are real good, huh? Gotta go tell your mama you got some treats. I'm gonna give you quite a few because the other two had them already. See, even when she looks like she's swallowing my finger, she doesn't bite me. This Oreo's the biter. All right. I know. 
You're a good girl. Go tell Juju. Juju's home. Juju, can you call them? She's like, no, mommy's got snacks. Right back. Anyway, <laughs> I was really excited to see that. And the fact that I wasn't, the, and the fact that I wasn't the first one that popped upon it and didn't like, oh, hey, look, I'm the first one to know. The fact that it was one of my cinnamon buns in the, the Facebook group, that made me extra excited. Um, my people, I want to say my girls, because it's mostly like my girls that are over there really interacting, but there's boys in there too. So my people over in the Facebook group have really been putting in the work for me. And I love you guys for that. Randy, Christine specifically. Um, shout out to those two girls because ladies, women, they're girls. <laughs> my girls. They have been posting sales. They have been posting like when a new yarn is out. And they have really been keeping me educated on what's on the market because... I don't have the time any longer to sit and surf the internet to research information the way that I used to. And I don't have the wanting to either. I'm gonna be real honest. So like they are like, hey, look, they're they're out there. They got their they got their nose in people's business. They're like, look what I saw. Look who's but you know, they tell they tell me the lowdown. That's my girls. <laughs> so thank you, Christine and Randy, for keeping me in the loop. I'm gonna be real honest. <laughs> keeping me in the loop because that made me so happy so Premier Yarns is killing it with the Dollar Tree stuff I don't know which Dollar Trees are going to carry this I tried doing research on Dollar Tree's website because if you go to Dollar Tree and you type in a specific thing a lot of times they will say it is available at this store but not this store it's available at this store and not this store and you can pick it up here but you can't get it here and I will look through and check different locations because there's a lot of Dollar Trees by me. As a matter of fact, they're building a brand new one in the other direction, which is crazy to me. I have my choice of Dollar Trees. And there's a lot in this area. Like, it is Dollar Tree Central. And you would think that I lived in Greenbrier, but I do not. <laughs> um, and, and Greenbrier's not even in Greenbrier. I'm trying to remember what city it's in. Because we've seen Dollar Tree headquarters. We had a hotel right next to it one of our trips. I think it's South Carolina. I don't remember. It's probably on the label of something from the Dollar Tree. Anyway, go check out your Dollar Tree. And, and if you have a lot of Dollar Trees close to you like I do, go to several stores and just see what they got. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm going to pop down because there is one, two, three, four right by my house there's a fifth one in the other direction over by ollie's if i want to go over there and they're going to have a sixth one down the road in the other direction and then the one out in call pepper that's like that's out of the way but there's a lot real close to me that i can just go dollar tree to dollar tree and see what they have and i don't think i'm going to buy the olive green because i don't like olive green at all like i'm more of a slime green girl but I'm excited to see, I, and I really want to answer the question, is it a regular Dollar Tree or is it a Dollar Tree Plus? Because all Dollar Trees are starting to carry things that are over $1.25 now, like $3 here, $5 there. And so I'm real curious, like, what stores are going to carry the yarn? So, it's an adventure time for cinnamon stitches. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree, because Dollar Tree will never sleep on you. <laughs> and with that, I will let you go, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.